Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for another iRacing video and today we're deep into week 13 and fancy doing some racing. The only series that really caught my eye was the Rallycross. So jumped on into the VW Beetle and we actually managed to qualify on pole for this one. We're at Daytona. Let's jump on into the car and see if we can finally convert pole into a win in this series. Alright, here we go in the uh, VW Lite. Daytona again. Or 5P1. Let's see how we get on. Alright, we're uh, lights out and away we go. Two wheeling it around the first corner. Just take it a bit easy. Might back the punch up a little bit, but that's not a uh, big problem for me. Get a bit squirrely on the jump there. This guy behind has left us a decent bit of room, a bit of contact there, but that's all good. Still contacting, but just about leaving space. I'm uh, all over the place, so that's fine. Oh! Alright. I backed out to uh, let us fall back in line, that was pretty gracious of him. Thought he was going for the joke a lot then, he... Uh, Dived so suddenly to the right. We have had one down the Joker though. Oh, it looks like he's had a slow down the pink car. All right, try and keep it straight over the jump this time. Bit better, it's still not ideal. As the leader goes well wide. All right. So ten lapper again as always. In this uh, rookie VW light series. In week 13 they don't have a uh, anything higher than the rookie series, so I've jumped into this one again. It's probably where I belong still in this series to be honest. Not exactly uh, 10 block races these, don't I? I don't think he's actually very fast at Rollicoff though, for all his uh, Jim Carn stuff he does. I'm sure in the actual WRC World Rally Championship, 10 blocks never actually normally anywhere high up the, uh, the ranking. He just makes a lot of money right promotional drift videos. P1 misses the apex by a bit there. Must be somewhere close. We've actually got him pinged, we've got him. Alright, into the lead then. Coming on to lap 4. Uh, yeah, lap four. <laughs> we get Brandon up our inside here, I think. Oh god, I'm going way wide. Just about carried the speed that Brandon wasn't an issue there, but I think I got a bit lucky to be honest. I think I do just have a little bit of pace on him, but uh, he's given us an honest fight for now. Big drifter on there, still sideways. Alright, just about clinging on. Not even feeling pressure, just cars suddenly getting really loose, a lot looser than I uh, have been experiencing up to this point in practice at least. Where I'll drop in Brandon just a little bit. It's reassuring, I think if, uh, if I was in any stronger strength of field I'd be being punished badly for these mistakes I'm making. can't remember uh, racing now off the top of my head how many of these videos I've made it into press but I have actually raced a lot in this series um, at sort of off peak hours and so raced a lot against really strong guys in this series sort of 2000-3000 uh, kind of I ratings and more often than not sort of held my own against them so uh, you could argue in a way that I might be kind of a bit uh, overpaced for these guys but I've just never actually got my rating up to a good point to be able to fight at the higher levels. We're halfway through the race. Got a change behind for second place as well. Got Jordan behind us now. Brandon's back to third. Got a three second buffer though. Mm 
Looks like everyone has taken the Joker except for me, so got that in my pocket to use against them. You won't be able to see it because it's under the uh, under the chase cam in the bottom right there, but that's where the standard I racing black box lives. Yeah, everyone's got the Joker taken except for me. I can use that up my sleeve tactically whenever I need it. Truthfully, right now we're just pulling further and further away from P2. Jordan's last lap was a second and a half slower than mine, and a short, tight track like this, a second and a half is a massive amount. Gordon, I think, might have had some contact. We've got some uh, some voices lighting up over voice chat. Sort of left to our own devices at the front of here. I think I said in one of the last races, I, I think I was leading and then managed to bottle it from P1. Um, I've never actually won in this series yet. Not run a dirt road race and uh, not won in this car, obviously, as well. So, touching wood. Don't want to speak too early, but it's looking good right now. Coming on to uh, second to last lap as we cross the line this time. Again, sorry if this, uh, as the viewer, might not be the most exciting race, there's not exactly any close battles going on, but there's absolutely no way if I get my first win that we're not going to stick this up on, uh, on the old Yui tube for safekeeping. Oh, that's one of my best lines through that corner there. On the tighter you can hug, that's uh, the second part of that apex. Does great things for your lap time. Pretty much the same on that corner as well, to be honest. Just a tricky, uh, tricky battle then. Getting the power back down without spinning the wheels on the dirt. Got a five second lead going into the last lap. Might be, uh, might be a bit disrespectful, but if I had the car skills, I'd chuck a Yui on the line and reverse over the line, such as the lead that we've got here. I've come through the first part of that apex and just get nice and close to that second. That's where the curbing is there. Alright, backed it right off. Around the tight hairpin, getting on the power. Got the grass, cut close to the slowdown. Don't actually get a slowdown though. I can break nice and early for this. No pressure from behind. Seven seconds is the gap as we take the Joker. All the way into second, and finally, finally we get a P1 in the Dirt Road series. Oh, there was a point there, I never thought that was going to come. I'm definitely into double digits for how many races I've done on these, and, um, you know, I don't know whether I got lucky in the rookie Mazdas or what, but that, um, I think it was the first night I was on the server, we picked up a win in the Mazda, and so this has felt like an absolute ghost town for wins in this series it's taken this long to get them but finally finally full position in quali p1 uh, off the line got overtaken in the first lap but never really felt like i was in danger i think i was always really putting lap time into the guys and uh yeah got the win ah oh, finally <laughs> i didn't think that was ever gonna happen truthfully it was me making my own mistakes it was someone taking us out or i don't know just it just never really seemed to come together in this series so far, but uh, glad to have finally got a win in this series. But yeah, that's going to be everything for this video, so if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, really helps the channel out, and consider subscribing if you're new here and you've not done that already. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next one.